Hey, Psychic America. This is Tracy uh, Brown. Oh, on. And I'm We're texting on. a boy. <laughs> You're texting a boy. You're so funny. Like I'm in third grade. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah. We're I'm, on. I have boyfriends in third grade. So, yeah. Did anyway. You, I'm did in, you have crushes or boyfriends I in third like grade? I have like a fake boyfriend for every grade in elementary school. You know what? Sometimes oh, I... fake mean it's not, inside your head? No, I mean like we would be fake boyfriends. Like we would like play after school and have like homoerotic like things. Did, like, play. Did they know that they were. I don't think. I don't think they're all straight now. But oh, they were like my boyfriend. But they were willing to. I think they just saw me as a girl. Experience I mean, or experience, but, but not in a sexual way. He's not trying to say it's sexual. Well, we did kind of like. I oh, mean, Jesus. we would pretend to have sex. I mean, I didn't get like. <laughs> yeah, we would like hump each other and stuff. And oh, isn't it weird how in a certain age bracket you do kind of hump each other? Yeah, I mean. We, no, no, I I've, a, I've had, had that a, experience too. I had a boyfriend too. in elementary so school, weird. literally a homoerotic boyfriend from like second grade through like seventh. It was until seventh grade because that was when boys were like, "But well, we have to date girls." See? Yeah. Well, if America would just tell, stop telling all of that. No, they, they, what if they just want to date we girls? We are living in the rainbow nation. Yay! Well, is that a fabulous song? I was just improving from Janet Jackson's song, Rhythm Nation. Oh, rainbow nation. You, you can't change the words. <laughs> You're living in a rainbow nation. I should be my own. I should call myself Queer Al Yankovic. <laughs> and make every song gay. Any gay. Yeah, hi, my little oh, sprite. Oh, you should turn it around to get up. Yeah, she, you're just... <laughs> That's actually really funny. I know, I should really kind of... And you should put it on YouTube. I, know, I should be. That would be hilarious. Yeah. People would love that, because you have a really good voice. Oh, my God, stop that. I'm so serious. You. you should do that. Yes. I did take me enough of you, so... I'm loving that idea. Thank you. Um, no. Hello, my little sprite. Hi, guys. <laughs> we are, like, in a slow day today. Uh, it's the third eye view, and um, we're gonna do see something. something right there? Uh, no, oh, there's something no, there. No, there's nothing that will not touch it. It will be there. <laughs> right, if you I'm gonna to make touch it. it. Yeah, don't right. touch it. Like that's the rule. And then I'll get this She's big goiter. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Well, well, well oh, lifetime my. is uh, picking up a biopic. Lifetime. A biopic. A biopic. Uh, a biopic. <laughs> He's making fun of me because I said bi. What is biopic? She's like, so, the, Brittany Murphy says it's a, it's a biopic. I'm like, you mean a biopic? And she's like, is that how you say it? how you say it? Because I butchered the English language. On the third of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you talk Ebonics, I understand you completely. <clears throat> so, any gay, um, <laughs> Lifetime has been doing a lot of movies lately like that, you know, and here's my request, Lifetime. I want to see the real 90210 story. I would love to see what happened behind the scenes portrayed on America's favorite TV show. You did it with the Save by the Bell cast. And I'm going to say it was a little boring because they were just like actual kids and it wasn't as exciting. But, you know, I know what happened backstage. I've seen a lot of shows. And Tori Spelling's book, you know, told Tori, a lot. Is Tori a little... She's nuts. I mean, not psychically. She's Sometimes crazy. we're just... She's she seems crazy. crazy. I think her anyway, husband Anyway, I mean, they had some, like, they had some shenanigans on that set, Is let me tell you. She actually happened. just, uh, her and uh, Jenny Garth did a I like show. Jenny Goff, though. They did a show that Mystery Girls. Mm -hmm. Mystery, I, 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 don't like, think it's, I don't think it's gonna. I, don't think it's gonna I, don't think it's, I like Jenny Goff, though. Dude, she's aging so well. And Peter Facinelli. She's aging really well. You should get well. back together with her because she is so gorgeous. She's so two old daughters, you I'm know. I'm so sad that they broke up. They were the longest lasting married couple forever, and now they're not. Um, Which means that maybe people should just not. Well, talking date about Lifetime, I like the. Uh, oh, Witch of the Beast End is my favorite. Witch of the Beast End. As a fellow End. witch, good job. Witch of the Beast End. They're in their second season. Second season, hoping that they go on their third. You guys but are were almost. Are you saying they have like the most gorgeous men on that they show? They do have the most gorgeous men. Do they? I think. So. Any blacks? You know, I think. Let's fix that. Let's there was a black guy. Like, oh, there was, was a in black season guy. One. In season one. Well, season one, I'm talking about now. In season one, but he died. I have to um, you download watch it. season one. I, I've watched season one. Then how do you not know that there was a black guy on the show? Because maybe I didn't watch all of it. The main character ended up dating him. So do I need to go back sister, and... You're going to have to go back in. In fact, it's the same actor who plays um, Bailey's husband on Grey's Anatomy. Oh, yeah. I always know where you are and where you've been. <gasps> oh, I think I remember what happened. I think it was coming on the same time as... Um, I know what yeah, happened. Yeah, no. Well, you know, I don't have cable, so it's coming on the same time as um, The Coven. Uh, uh, American Horror Story? You are 
But you weren't even really watching that. I was, and it was making me sick to my stomach, so then I had to stop watching The Witches of the East End because it all just got convoluted too much witchy, inside too my head. Too much witches. Too much <laughs> It just got, I had to stop, so I stopped midstream. Oh. But I'm going to pick it back up you now shall. because the second season yeah. of The Witches of East End it's just started. Fucking fierce. Too. I'll fix it. Really good. I like that they use Latin spells. I mean, it is just. Oh, so they talk in uh, and Latin? They do their spells like Catherine Latin. Hmm. What is that? They come from like some witch land. I'm like, I don't even know what that's like. Sometimes they go through the pictures. Just they that was happening. The yeah, they got yeah, that. Yeah. They put a, in the picture. Spell, they put someone in the picture and then yeah. they find them. I don't know. It's yeah. great. Oh, it's wow. like charms all over again. <laughs> it's a mild version, I think, of American Horror Story. Oh, yeah, I mean, I think it's more like Charmed and Project Magic. Oh, Charmed and, and, and Practical. Oh, okay. See, I like that because that's fun. But it just, it was in line with American yeah, Horror Story. And I was like. Horror Story. It's much more like I don't know if you guys watch American Horror Story. I was I over it. I can't wait it. for the next one. The no, I'm not watching the clowns. I'm not watching clowns. Circus or no, no, you can't get me to watch this time. Okay, so what are we doing? Oh, no, yeah. What are we talking? We're just having. We may not even do a reading today. I mean, we're just talking. <laughs> it's fluffy to us. Cupboard, not a cup, not a board. Discuss amongst yourselves. <laughs> Rhode Island, not a road, not an island. Discuss, discuss. Well, did you uh, did watch Fluffy Talk? I mean, you know what I'm talking. Wait a second. I, I always have to correct people. It's oh, you said Rhode Island, yeah, which that's Rhode the way you pronounce it. But if yeah. it's in New York, it's the other place is Long, Long Island. Long Island. No, 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 Island. Island. Long Island. Long Island. Oh, that makes sense. That's how you know you're a native New Yorker when you misspell everything. Mispronounce everything. Mispronounce everything. <laughs> yes. You are native New Yorker. <laughs> you can't even get the difference between misspell and mispronunciation. Because we don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, she, you know, Monica's from Jersey and she wants to ask me for like a fork. And she's like, Sean, can you pass me a fork? And I'm like, a what? A f- fork. And I'm like, a fuck? Fork. We Cut. pronounce fork, roof, fork. orange is spelled A R in, in New York. It's not spelled O R, it's spelled A R. Crazy. Carrie Bradshaw never talked like that. <laughs> Who? Carrie Bradshaw. Never talked like that. Okay. Well, we're almost at 10 minutes. <laughs> Have you been enjoying us? <laughs> <laughs> Let's look. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> the bottom line is Brittany Murphy's Oh, Brittany Murphy, who's biopic? been dead forever. Her biopic, not biopic. Biopic uh-huh. is coming out on Lifetime September 6th? I guess, yeah. Tomorrow. I think it's coming out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Hey, that is tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But her dad is a little loopy. He's literally attacking Amanda Fuller, who is playing Brittany Murphy. Like, he's attacking her. He's also attacked the mom to say that she has... Most likely poisoned um, Brittany. Um, so what's the question? I don't know. It was your idea. <laughs> Is the dad crazy? Has he completely lost it? And did the mom poison? Okay, that's two questions. Let's do two. Is one? Is we don't the dad have time for two. We're at eight minutes. No, no. Let's all tie it in. Tie it in. <laughs> Is the dad crazy? And or is he so crazy because Brittany's mom poisoned her? Figure what her name is. Brittany Murphy. No, Brittany's mom. Brittany uh, Murphy's mom. Brittany I forgot Murphy. what her name is. I don't she's all over the internet. This is the month I talked about Brittany Murphy. I wonder thing. if she sold the story to Lifetime. Apparently, she's very, very greedy. Aren't they? What, the mom? Like Tina Brittany Spears' mom. I used to be a stage mom. Yeah, not like that. Hmm? Oh, it's a good thing you not like that. I used to be a stage mom. People thought it was different. They did. Huh. This is Murphy's mom. He, he just doesn't like the way it was written, that's for sure. I think Brittany's mom got some money. I don't know if she was the one that sold the story, but I think she got some money. We're looking to see if he's crazy. 
can't see without my glasses. I really don't want to put them on. I'm going to stick to my gun and not put my glasses on. Put them on. Ten minutes. Sure. Is he crazy? <laughs> He's not. He's actually like he's, actually he's like the very town. Very strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some. Yeah. Uh huh. On his side. Can you see if the mom? And she did poison her. She did poison her. I thought both. Yeah. Both cars over that one answer. I did two answers. So first time I've ever done that. Hey, not crazy. And yeah. So I didn't want to tell Sean, but I actually did this reading on Saturday. Okay. I didn't want to tell you. Okay. I wanted to see if you saw whether or not Brittany's mom. Poisoned her own daughter. So she just like tricked me into like a DMV test. I did. Test. I tricked like him. Like a DMV, like DMV test. <laughs> I did. I did on purpose because I thought what I saw was completely wacko. <clears throat> Again, I get that this woman is unscrupulous and for the love of money. Uh huh. The gift card represents that she doesn't even have most this, of it left now. This like, represents the movie. Mm -hmm. like a little bit that she gave. She's using that money. In this the represents the movie as well. Plus, too. I think mm -hmm. the gift also represents the fact that yeah, however many times this gets played, she signed that she wants residuals. So she's collecting residuals off of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to say it once or twice. So mm -hmm. she's also in, she's also hiding out. She's enjoying her alone time. She's been doing it a long time because she doesn't never cared about her daughter. Mm. But yeah, he's not crazy. This is the work card. This is the money that she he got. Issues with her, the green man's, this the is green her man's not caring about her daughter being dead. Like she really, really just does not care. Yeah. This is the mom. Mm -hmm. Is he crazy? No. He's mm -hmm. actually a pillar of strength. Mm -hmm. Do you see them arresting her? Mm. Is there a possibility that that could go down ultimately? No, but I see that she's gonna lose her money just as fast as she made it. Yes. Yes. Very much will end up Yes. She's definitely going to lose her money. Well, on Saturday, I actually saw her getting arrested eventually for this. But um, I'm looking I don't at the can... cards now, and it's not showing me arrest. Damn. Yeah, Some know. pain coming for her, though. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Right? You know what it is? It's kind of like when you commit him. such a heinous crime. Oh, for him and you, opportunity. Mm -hmm. I hope he calms down enough just to enjoy his life. I'm going to look to see... If she's ever going to get arrested for this murder. Murder, she wrote. We'll probably only get murder, like she wrote. We're talking huh? about accusing someone of murder. I don't, don't care. Even, oh, I, don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, this so woman funny. is guilty. You guys all care about us, like, talking about Brad Pitt and Angelina, and here we are accusing someone of murder, and I don't even get lost. Who yelled at me on that Brad Pitt? Uh, they yelled at both of us, and I don't I don't. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's when you call out Jesus. Jesus Christ, <laughs> save me from these people. Let my people go. So I got to say, oh, that's Moses. Whatever. Um, yes. Yes. That actually is my jail card. Yes. She is going to... That's this a death is, card, isn't it? No. I mean... Yeah. yeah, yeah right. the, uh, no. I thought that was... I replaced double. that. I thought they replaced. Oh, it's the double card. Mm -hmm. Shadow. Oh, shadow card. It means being trapped in your own ugly, but in a right of weight, it's literally like a devil with chains. But thank God these cards are, you know, much different. But it is, it does turn into my jail card. Um, I see it's going to happen. Um, somebody's going to work so hard on it until it happens. Mm -hmm. Probably the crazy dad. And I'm not calling you crazy because you're not crazy. But you're acting crazy. Um, there's some satisfaction. For the love of Brittany, I'm there's sure. some satisfaction. Okay. Here's the last thing I'm going to tell you. The minute this woman professes her love for her daughter, she will get either investigated or arrested. Because I don't think she's ever said, I love my daughter. I would never do that. Yeah. She's going down. Look. She's going down. Ooh. And it's her husband, former husband, is the one that's going to do it. He's going to make sure it happens. Are you satisfied? I am. I did it twice, and I didn't even tell Sean. I'm glad I'm on copy. Mind. Hey, y'all, look at that. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's what she wanted to do. She was setting me up. Right? I was setting Nine, him up. 818-985-2010. Call me and Sean uh, for your own personal yeah. reading. You can follow me at the Supreme Fairy on Twitter, and we have no more time. So we'll TMC you next week.
Bye. Thanks, Thanks for watching.